Hey, you there. Are you in for a very special unboxing video? You know, the kind that you might not see again for years to come? Well, have I got the video for you, my friend. Hello there, and today we're going to be opening some good old FNAF mystery minis. But not just any FNAF mystery minis. We're talking an entire case of 2016 Wave 1 Walmart exclusive mystery minis. Do you remember when in July of this year, when I got the entirety of non-exclusive Wave 2 and 3 action figures still brand new in the boxes? You know, it's another one of those cases, the type of FNAF things that you just don't see up for sale very much today. Now, just before we crank into this juicy goodness, let me show you how my Wave 1 Mystery Mini collection is going. It's almost complete. Yes, that's right, we're actually deporting from the usual setup. So, if you take a return from the infamous pop wall, you'll end up at my good old shelves here. And here's where my Wave 1 minis are. Kind of hard to see. And you know what? I should actually just take them back over there to the pop wall. Because we're going to be referring to these a lot through the video. We're back at the usual pop wall. But this time around, I have brought my entire collection of Wave 1 mystery minis. And to make it simple for you, the only ones that are missing is Shadow Freddy, Mangle, and then Toy Chica with the beak. Oh, and while we're at it, for your own use, here's a checklist of every single Wave 1 Mystery Mini, including their chances and exclusive status, so that could be really useful. So remember, there's only three more from this entire collection I'm missing. Will I get any of them in today's box? Well, tune in and find out. Or just look at the thumbnail, that also works. <laughs> Now, without further ado, let's dig in. So this is a nice box we got here, so hopefully these are all packaged nice and well. Alrighty, now let's see what we got here. Oh, packaged well, bubble wrap and all. Sweet, you'll love to see it. Now check this out, the actual display case itself, and then filled to the brim with Walmart exclusive minis. Actually, I lied. This isn't just an entire display case of Walmart exclusive minis. This is the entire display case of Walmart exclusive mystery minis plus an extra one. I know, isn't that just shocking? The biggest twist you could have ever possibly not seen coming. And you know what? While we're at it, why don't we just open the oddball of the bunch? Now, I'm only going to show you this once because I know how repetitive it will get if I've done it every time. But here's how the box looks with that awesome walmart exclusive status and here's the back with all of the chances you see on the bottom there you got your free knights in shining armor all one in 12 so if you did buy an entire walmart exclusive case you're destined to get every single one of these exclusives so funko you were definitely generous in that regard and of course they had to take out a couple of the regular ones to replace some of these exclusive ones so you'll notice a couple of faces don't show up in these walmart boxes now, let's just dig in and see what's inside. Now, before we go forward, I will let you know these are not saved. I did see from the listing photos, I do know the 13 that are in them, but to be honest, I have forgotten a lot of the non-exclusive ones. And also, there's only going to be one per box, so I'll have no idea which one it'll be. So, I'll just play along so that you can get the surprise, you know what I mean? Alrighty, so first things first, who are we starting off with? Alright, oh, just normal Freddy. And also, I'm not going to bore you to death with re-reviewing all these minis that I already have. I'm not going to do that. And you'll see, yes, I haven't put them in the original packaging. Fair, fair enough, like, you know, these are six years old, but they have still put them in packaging, which I really appreciate. So there he is, normal Freddy. God knows how many times I've come across you in my path. Okay, that whole thing was just a lame startup. Now the real game begins with the full display case. With the display case itself, of course, but we gotta make a way through quite a hefty amount of bubble wrap before we can take a look at that. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get into this. But first of all, of course, we gotta admire this display case because you don't see it very much today for sale absolutely not firstly though here's the box topper which is identical to the original one except this one has a big only at walmart sticker in the bottom here they are side by side literally the exact same 
The sides of the box here are also identical to the original Wave Lunches, displaying Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy again, which is the exact same as the box topper. I wish they went for, you know, a different set of characters. And here's the back with Mango lunging on the top. For some reason, that always reoccurred in old FNAF merch. And this withered Freddy render, of course. And then the side is just these same three characters again. I like how with later waves, they really switched it up and started including a bunch of the characters. But when you get to the front, something totally unique to this box, which I just love, especially since it that's the front, that's the piece you're gonna display. As you see, instead of just Chica and Springtrap on standard boxes for this Walmart specialized box, you've got Mangle and Beak Toy Chica on it, who are two of the Walmart exclusive minis. And as you can see, there are a lot of boxes that are waiting there to be cracked open. So let's just get straight into this. And hopefully those free exclusives are waiting for us too. Okay, so as I've already said, that Freddy Mini we opened up at the start there, that was just a startup. That was just a filler. Let's pretend that didn't happen. So this is truly the first of the display case. So let's see. We're going to kick it off with a banger here. There really is only two possible new ones anyways. That being Big Toy Chica and Mangle. And let's see who we got. Oh, we got Foxy in here. Of course, all of them except for Endo, Crying Child and Toy Chica without the beak. Um, all of the non-exclusive ones are 1 in 12, and then those other three I just listed are 1 in 36. Here's classic old Foxy. Lots of yar. Let's get into box number two. Yes, I know it's number three, but let's just call it number two, because the first one did not happen. <laughs> um, now, let me just say it here right now. Ooh, check it out. We got one of the exclusives. This is the Toy Chica with Beak. Oh, this is awesome. This is a fairly common mini to get in the US. This will probably usually only run you about $20, $30. But in the UK, these like never show up for sale. And I've just never got it before. And it's really awesome to have this one. Even though it's nothing crazy rare, it just looks really, really nice. And let me bring in the 1 in 36 regular retail toy chica. Just so you can see the difference here. I definitely got to prefer this one. It looks nicer, it looks cuter. And of course, I just prefer toy chica with her regular eyes and beak. They were trying to look all spooky. Yeah, here they are, identical from the back. It's just the change in the eyes and beak here. Really awesome exclusive mini though. Super happy to finally have this one. Anyhow, as I was saying before getting cut off by the sheer sight of that exclusive toy Chica mini, it's just how much I love the old vibe of the original 2016 FNAF merch. You just can't beat it. It's great. And I love the Funko FNAF merch still to this day, but you know, it just doesn't compare to this original 2016 stuff. This was the peak and we have already lived for it. Who we got here anyways? Oh, Springtrap. Bad, bad little man there. He's a bad, bad man, I tell ya. And you can just tell by his hideous, deceiving face that he means trouble. Bad, bad man. Let's get into box number four. Uh, once I get the mango, we're kind of just going to start cranking these open like there's no tomorrow, rushing for him. Oh, I forgot this one was in it. That's nice, though. 36 Toy Chica. Of course, a retail one. That's awesome to get both the Toy Chicas in a lot. Super duper cool stuff. And we're almost halfway through the box. Going well, going well indeed. Ah, finally, a meme scheme video where I'm not rambling on for 10 minutes describing every last detail. Oh my god, a miracle. And here we got little Mr. Cupcake. This was actually the first one I got. First ever Wave 1 Mini I got. So, very, very kind of nostalgic one, I suppose. Even got it on holiday, so super cool experience. And now we move on to the final box of the first row. Let's see how we're going to end off this pretty banger of a row, to be honest. Oh, hell yeah, bingo. That's exactly what we were looking for. And I was the most excited for this one, even more than Toy Chica, because totally different mini and Mangle's awesome. I actually really like the way they've stylized this. Call it Funtime Foxy, if you will, because this, for one, definitely isn't really Mangle at all. They're doing this, they did the same thing on the plushie, where they just gave her these odd metallic, you know, sort of endo arms, and then these weird knee joints. That's really all it did, and they called it a day, called her mangle, and boom, it hits the shelves. <laughs> but seriously, I actually do like the stylization, don't mind it whatsoever. And I really like the way this mini turned out, even if it's not actual mangle. We had to wait six years to get actual mangle. But wait, there's one more exclusive that's on the loose, and it's the mythical Toy Freddy. So we can't just leave him hanging. We gotta keep digging, and then we'll call it quits when the box is emptied. Who have we got? Oh, Puppet, that's one of the ones from it. I seriously have no memory whatsoever 
of what the regular ones were you know the regular retail ones no clue whatsoever i just kind of impulse bought as soon as i saw that sweet display case we're gonna we're getting even faster because i've got the two exclusives oh there he is here is the glow in the dark toy freddy awesome i already have this guy you may recall i did unbox him at one point but yep doesn't hurt to have another one and of course it's toy freddy with his awesome glowing debris all right we got just four more boxes to take a look at so why don't i just go ahead and throw in four guesses here so let's see how about bonnie golden freddy endoskeleton and balloon boy let's just see how that goes now maybe i actually somehow do remember them and i just sort of recall them there but hey we'll just have to wait and see what have we got oh balloon boy did i say that oh god his balloon oh jeepers oh man this is my second balloon boy that's happened like this Oh, jeez, that balloon really wasn't stuck on there well. Damn, I don't even think it was shown in the listing photo. Was it? I'm not sure. It's not that big a deal. It's duplicate anyways. Look at the way it's come off, though. Like, there's a actual perfectly cut hole in the arm there. I could just slide this back in realistically. Yeah, exactly. Not that big of a deal, especially since I already have them. But wow, that is the second balloon boy I've had that happen to me before. So they really didn't put too much thought into actually putting that balloon on there especially since you know these are shipped out in like boxes like that where you shake them around oh golden freddy wow i mean i suppose there isn't too many kind of possibilities anyways or maybe i can just sort of recall the box closest i really wasn't paying much attention to them i just saw toy chica and i saw mangle saw the display case i was like go for it we got two more we're just gonna open them on the scene right now what do we got Oh, Barney, uh, maybe, 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 maybe something is speaking to me. It's just my own mind. There's Barney, Gemini. And then last but not least, who was the other one? Endoskeleton, I think I predicted. I'm more like just recalled. <laughs> is that it? Oh, hey, it actually is Endo. Oh my gosh. And boom, one in 36 Endoskeleton. He definitely doesn't look like an Endoskeleton. And here's the results from today's unboxing video. I actually got every single possible mini you could get except for Crying Child. So really, really awesome stuff. And again, I love that I got this display case. And finally, the 1 in 12 Walmart exclusives of Funtime Foxy slash Mangle and Toy Chica with Beak. And with that, we conclude another goofy unboxing in honor of Fatty Fast Beer. Hopefully you got a kick out of this one and hopefully some nostalgia as well. And with that, I'm going to head out and I'll see you again soon. Yeah.